In this video, we'll talk about how to take the spreadsheet we just created and improve it so that it, it will work, be more professional looking and uh, would be something that you, if you created something like this, you could put it into LinkedIn or put it into your portfolio when you interview for jobs just to show that you have good Excel skills. And so this last, this last time we created this graph, we have our model. So what we want to do is just start cleaning it up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my graph title to model output. And then I'm going to move my graph, move my chart, and I'm going to call it model output graph or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've got my new sheet here. I'm going to move that to the very end. Um, so it looks looks good. I'm going to insert some text. So just click insert a new text box. Just so anybody looks at this, I know the stocks up here are rich. I'm going to bold, italicize, and put it in red. Oops, that's not what I wanted in red. The letters in red, and then I'm going to increase it to much larger. So these the stocks up here are rich, and I'm going to do Control C, and then con to copy and Control V to paste, and then I'm going to move this down here and edit that, and say these are the cheap stocks. Change that to green. So my rich stocks are up here, my cheap stocks are down here, and then then I've got a mark. So I got my output. Then I'm going back to sheet one. I'm going to type, retype the title of that chart to model. So this is my actual model. And you can notice just the titles, just clean up all kinds of things on the title. We don't, um, this regression is, is fine. Summary output, you might change that to regression output. And never, never show a chart when you're interviewing for a job or using it in a class that just has bad formatting so you know make everything you can click on a lot of stuff and just change it to commas use the comma function just click on the comma um, you might increase your columns so that you can see all the words just everything should look nice and professional um, so there's your regression output and here's Here's all my data feeds. I'm going to select these columns and right click and do column width. I'm going to make them all say 25. And then the other thing, and you can notice the format here with the blue background and the white, that looks kind of professional. So I think I'm going to click on here and make them all blue like that. And then I'm going to make all the text white. I'm going to bold it all, center it all, but whatever you need just to make it look nice and professional. So now you've got a very nice looking spreadsheet. And the other thing I'm going to add, I'm going to click down here on the plus to add a new sheet. I'm going to move it to the front. I'm going to make that intro. And then on the intro, I might have something that starts off by just showing what I'm doing. So I might say this model screens for stocks in the auto industry screening from the Russell 3000 stock index. And I'm going to say factors in the model, just any of this, whatever you want to write, you just want to make it look professional. So I'm going to do factors in my model. I'm going to keep with that blue background and white text, bold, italicize, and going to say <coughs> Factors related to growth and profitability. And again, I'll, I'll put that in blue and white. Bold, it's italicized. And my first factor we says was sales growth. You can put the title of it there, and over here you can say say what it is. Average three-year annual growth in 
with sales. The next thing was gross margin. We don't need to explain that anymore. Um, and then we're going to have factors related to risk. And we only have one on that one. We have debt. Tibida. We don't need to explain that anymore. I'm going to highlight this again. And then uh, valuation factor, valuation factors. So here again, you can color code it however you want to. So you might have your factor in blue and those related to growth. You could make that a background of green. Those related to risk, you have a background of red. And then valuation factor, you might have, I don't know, orange or something. And the only thing I have that is EV, EV to EBITDA. So that tells someone if are looking at this, this model exactly what I have. And so I'll save that. And then I'm going to actually link these. So sales growth, I go over to the model and sales growth is in C1. So I'm going to right click on sales growth and I'm going to do hyperlink here down at the very, very bottom, hyperlink. And I want to hyperlink in this document. I'm going to click on the model and it's in cell C1. So I want to place a hyperlink and say OK. And when we do that, you'll notice that it highlights it almost like you're in, in on the internet and it links it. And so when you click on that sales growth, it goes to that column. Um, now one thing we might want to do is do a return button. So return to intro and I'm going to right click and hyperlink on that and I'm going to place in this document return to the intro A1 say OK. You can bold that, italicize it. I'm going to highlight it in red, white text, however you want to do it so that someone sees oh yeah that's how I that's how I get there. So sales growth takes me to column C1. Now I might, we can format the cells and I can uh, merge the cells so that that return to intro becomes a very strong, I even center it. Return to intro and then I can click on that, it takes me back to intro. Then gross margin, we know that gross margin is in D1, so I can right click on gross margin, hyperlink, I want to put it in the model, I want it to link to D1 and say OK, so now when I click on gross margin, it takes me to that column, and that to EBITDA, that's going to be in E1, so I hyperlink that in the model, E1, OK, so now I get to that and then my EV if it da is actually in column G1. So I'll right click on that, hyperlink in this document model G1. Now this may seem like overkill for a model that's this simple and this small, but as you add more and more factors, I've seen some spreadsheets go out 80, 100, 200 columns. It can get really complicated. So it's 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 kind of nice to have um, these hyperlinks so you can easily get around the spreadsheet and there's many many more ways we can do it but that just shows you a good way to clean it up we've got a nice good looking graph here a good organization for the model tells what the model does and this can get much more complicated as you add more things so it makes it much much easier for someone to understand exactly what we're doing the model looks professional good titles good formatting throughout everything's labeled so before you send them an Excel model to a professor or for a job interview make it look as professional as possible. You can see in just five, 10 minutes, even you know, very, very quickly you can make this model look very, very professional. So we'll save that. All right, thanks.